Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes. This is just a daily reading. This reading is not sign specific. Uh, just take what's yours and leave the rest. It may or may not be for you. Bits and pieces may be for you, and the other may not be. If you were in a happily ever after love relationship, then you shouldn't be watching tarot readings. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for today? For around October 4th, what do we have for today? The Emperor reversed. The Emperor reversed. This is a loss of control. Anger. Somebody could be angry. Um... Things may become out of control, and that could make somebody angry. Um, this is a loss of concentr concentration, a loss of focus. Um, things being out of control. So some uh, this is this is uh, You need to just allow. You don't try to control the situation. Just allow it to unfold. Somebody's going down. I mean, the emperor, uh, I don't know, something is, and he could be angry. Somebody could be angry because they're not getting their way. Somebody may not be getting their way, and it could make them really, really upset that things are not happening the way that they planned it to happen. Um, there could be some chaos, disorder, disorder. Ooh, six of cups. The six of cups is a card of remembrance. It's a card of nostalgia. This could be a father. Could be a father, could be a husband, could be a boss. This person is, is typically a leader of some sort. Very dominant. And likes to be in the dominant role. This person is probably... Could be angry about the, something to do with his children. That he's not... Somebody could be angry that they're not able to control the past... Ooh, ooh. So there's some definitely some unhappiness here. Unhappy. Somebody could be unhappy about their children. We could have a father that is unhappy with the situation that has to do with their children or their child. If even there could even be one child. Um, let me just turn that off. Hold on. I just throw it on the floor. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so yeah, this is unhappy, sad. So there's some sadness here. Sadness. There couldn't even be some regrets. And I saw it with this card before these cards even came out. So there could definitely be some regrets over something to do with the children. Maybe somebody abandoned their children or didn't take very good care of their children. Or they're dealing with somebody who doesn't like their children. Or somebody that's trying to withhold their children. And this person could get really angry. This person could get really angry if somebody is trying to use the children. Or doesn't like their children. Or something to do with the children. Eight of Pentacles. Now the Eight of Pentacles is working really, really hard. Making sure everything is perfect. Burning the midnight oil. So somebody is burning the midnight oil. Working really, really, really hard to make everything perfect. And it's like it's still not happening because there's there's some level of unhappiness here. And, and if you're working too much, you could definitely get angry easier. 
you know, it's unhealthy to work too much. So somebody, you know, could be losing their focus and their concentration because they're overworking. Maybe they're trying to heal from the past because this is not healed. They could be, you know, burying themselves in their work and their job so that they can heal. Eight of Wands. Now this is something coming to a complete halt. A stop. A stop. No communi No more communication. This is stopping communication. Page of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Lost opportunity. Somebody does have regrets. I believe they do. So this is a missed opportunity or a lost opportunity. Somebody was too busy. They invested too much time in their work and neglected their children. I don't know who this is, but um doesn't have to be just the children, but we do have children here. So somebody neglected their children, they probably have regrets. Now we have a loss. This is a loss. A loss of stability, a loss of growth, a loss of abundance, a loss of security. And now we're going backwards from the eight of pentacles, basically minus one is the seven of pentacles. It's not even worth it anymore. There's, there's no reason for me to stay here. There's no reason for me to do this anymore. This person is very, we have somebody here that is upset. They are upset because they lost an opportunity. We still have an opportunity here. There's an opportunity to start over because that's what this is. But you have to choose to apologize. You have to choose to take that step to do something differently. <laughs> so the page of pentacles. Well, here we have this is putting something to a complete halt. This is going down a new path. Finding the moral backbone to do the right thing. So somebody is finding the moral backbone to do the right thing. They're really discontent and sad, very discontent and sad over this loss. Somebody has lost something and they're not happy with the loss. You know, they did it themselves. The emperor in reverse is somebody, is a masculine energy. This is a masculine energy. This is somebody who let pride and ego get in the way. Materialism, the need to prove themselves to the world. To their, to their tribe, to their friends, to their family, you know, in materialistic ways, get in the way of what really mattered. What really mattered was love. And now this person is having regrets for letting love pass by when they should have invested in it a long time ago. And now they're unhappy with the current circumstances because it's, it's like it's too late. It's too late. We're going backwards here. There's no progress being made. It's like perhaps they're 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 the people that that they did not invest in doesn't don't even communicate with them anymore. The people that they invested that they didn't invest in don't care about them anymore. It's like the shoe is on the other foot. Loss of relationship, loss of friendship. These people, it's like they, they don't even want to have a relationship with them anymore. It's like they're not even, they don't care about it. It's like, no, I, I don't want to even, I don't care. So I feel like we, we have somebody here that's angry and upset that things didn't turn out the way that they wanted them to, but it's because of their own actions. Their own actions, their own inability to make better choices. Somebody was more focused on their money, their coin, their materialistic things, and they lost a real relationship because of it. Whether it was a relationship or a friendship or both, somebody lost, a, they missed an opportunity, they lost a relationship because they just didn't focus on, on, on the relationship when they should have. They were more, more focused on materialistic things. They may have involved themselves with another person that, you know, wasn't the mother of their children or wasn't the right one or wasn't uh, another woman. 
Okay, they may have another woman, some they, the one that they don't love. They may have involved themselves with another person just to uh, fill a void. But that person didn't make them happy or doesn't make them happy. My stomach is something else. I'm sorry, I've been doing this for days. So you probably just heard it again. Um, nine of nine of swords reversed. This this is absolute regrets. Somebody has some really deep, 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 deep regrets over this opportunity that has been lost. They can't sleep. Totally exhausted. I mean, and, and it's like they're up all night thinking about it. Up all night long thinking about this loss. And they, the thing is, is they, they invested, they, they, they invested their time and energy in somebody else, another relationship, instead of, instead of putting in the effort in the hard work that it would have taken to make something last. Maybe they should have been focusing on the one that made them happy or their children instead of this other it's like, well, it's almost like there's there's another woman here that was just here to play and i i feel like this other woman um or other person was only they only brought this person into their life you know for materialistic reasons as well. For show. For show. It's like this was for show. Now we got somebody here that is having massive regrets. In an unhappy situation with this other person. Can't sleep hardly at all. Now, this is taking action. This is act now, think later. This is somebody that is about to take action. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is this way though. Somebody is about, this is taking action. So this guy doesn't, it's like, gonna, somebody is going to take action. Very passionate. It's like somebody, it's like they just got to do it. I got to do this. I got to do this. Whatever it is that they're going to do. What is this Knight of Wands going to do? What is this Knight of Wands going to do? He's going to put a stop to something because that's behind him. He's going to put a stop. Could be to a third party situation with the other woman. Could be. If there has been another woman, if that's just your scenario. This is putting a stop to a relationship. And this could be sudden. What is this Knight of Wands going to do? He's taking back control of the situation. He's going to face his demons. He's going to face his fears. He is going to sever ties with somebody. This is breaking chains. The devil reversed. That is breaking chains. That's freedom. Freedom. So we got somebody here that is about to break free from something that is unhealthy, toxic, based on materialism and lust. Not love. So somebody is to break is about to re it's it's like it's a sudden. This is very impulsive. It's like a sudden decision. It's a sudden decision to face fears. It's a sudden decision to break free, to take back control. I'm going to do this and I'm going right now to do it. I'm going to do it right now. So that's what we got here. Somebody's about to do something right away. Right away. Um, it's like face their karma of some sort as well. I feel like we got some karma here. Um... Oh, one just went a flopping on the floor. And it's sideways. So I don't know what it is yet. We're going to go like this. Nine of Wands reverse. Great personal fear. This person has great personal fear. 
overwhelmed. This person is probably angry, very angry with the challenges that life has presented, but life has presented these challenges because this person was focused on greed and money. And lust. So, I feel like today is a day where somebody is about to take action. They are about to face their fears. They have been avoiding challenge. But, I think we got to get just one more. Five of Wands reversed. This is giving up. This is giving up on that other person. Giving up the fight. Feeling defeated. Going home. Going towards happiness. Going And, and home could be a new home. Heading towards abundance. Heading, heading towards prosperity. This could be the end of a legacy. Could be the end of a relationship that allows somebody to start something solid, something stable. So, somebody is about to take action with that Knight of Wands. Somebody is going to break free from a situation that was based on ego. Right here. That's what this is. And they're headed towards something that feels more like home. Good luck. 